All right, hello guys. All right, so today we are starting on the trains exiting the downtown of the city. I am just putting this train here. I'm trying to figure out where it's gonna go best out of the tunnel. This is the first train going out into the suburbs and I want to have it be near some of the schools and maybe a few parks. I go through quite a few transitions here just because I didn't know what would fit best. So I think the train station turns out good in the end. There is a lot that is still going to be worked on. I want to have a good public transportation for the downtown into the suburbs, across the whole island, under the rivers and over the rivers to give a good spread of the city that you can get through train, not just driving, and I do put in this episode a lot of work on the metro system. I put them down and I set up different stops along the line. I am trying to see whether or not if an overpass on both sides would be best for the train station. It does have connect points for the train on both sides. I'm putting just this line down here. Um, this is going to be where some of the schools are a little later. There's going to be a lot of stuff going on and I think that with everything going on here there's going to be a great amount of space for some public transportation. I think next time I come back, I am going to put some metro stations down in this area as well as some bus stations. I wanna have a little bus route going from the train station into the surrounding suburbs. Uh, I think that would be best. Um, and as you can see here, I did have to switch up the school. Um, I am going to add some parking in the back as well as commercial centers in the back near the train station. I think it's really good for the walkability of the train station to have commercial use and residential use mixed in. So everything is going to be put in here. I kind of want to have a little commercial with some schooling, with some office space, with some parking, just so everything can kind of have a sort of second downtown feel, just so everything has its place while it's open. I want to have all of the planning sort of out of the way. So when this portion of the city does get really big nothing is going to be impacted by um maybe some like redevelopment that i would have to do or something else like it's going to be all planned and put away in the designated spot that it's supposed to be in So I am adding some parking in the back here. This one didn't want to work out and I still had the no destruction mode on. So that's why the trees are still in the road here but I will figure that out in a second. And I didn't know what to do with this space here but I ended up putting some parks here. I think it looks good in the end. Um, my thinking was the students when they're in the high school right here. They can exit the high school and go do their sports activities after school or even people in the downtown can come on the train and go to the parks or the plazas. I did add a lot of parking um, right in front of the train station just so people 
who need to park and go to the train station can park there overnight. That was my intention of putting that there. I did end up putting a taxi down. I think the taxi service is going to do great out here. There's going to be a lot of coming and going from this train station. I also want to have a big taxi service when I end up doing the airport. That's going to be really fun. I want to know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments below what kind of airport you want to see, whether that be a personal airport that I make or if you want to see something that I downloaded from the Steam Workshop or if you want me to play with the in-game international airport. Um, at the time of this recording, I did just see the new Harbors, I think it is, Sunset, Harbor Sunset announcement trailer from Paradox, so I am pretty excited for that. I am definitely going to play that when it comes out. Um, but now I'm just adding some foliage in for this area. I'm doing a mix of large trees and small trees. Then I'm going to start putting in some of the commercial. I don't want to have the same building everywhere, so I do kind of mix up some of the variants there of the size. So now I'm just going to add in the water pipes. Alright, so now I'm going to start putting the downtown a little more high residential in between the mix of the skyscrapers that I have downloaded off of the Steam Workshop. I think it gives a good contrast of high and low. The high density buildings eventually when they grow tall will not be as tall as the ones I downloaded. So now I am going to start the commercial districts along the main avenues. This is to give some character to the main streets. It kind of acts as a buffer between the residential and other communities. Just because I don't want the trucks to be going in and out of the city too much to where they are causing traffic so my intention with putting the commercial buildings on the main avenues is to distribute the traffic in between the residential zones so that there shouldn't be too much of a freight traffic on the road causing the residential zones to become overwhelmed so that's why I put all of the commercial kind of on the main roads you'll see later in the downtown with all of the skyscrapers I do put some high residential like kind of in blocks and that is just to give some buildings a sense of their own kind of like district within the downtown so I wanted to have a downtown for the office district and I wanted to have like a downtown warehouse district, I wanted to have like a downtown wealth and commerce, so it all just has to coincide together. So once everything is put in, I am going to start on that little corner area between the two highways. Um, I think I'm going to make that the sort of first industrial area we have towards the downtown. I want to kind of put on the outskirts of all the highways, um, the downtown, a whole bunch of industries so that they can supply the downtown without having to go too far. 
but I don't want to have kind of like an influx of traffic right on the edge. So I am going to kind of have to see what I can deal with there. So now I am starting this intersection again. I'm sure you guys have seen me do this before if you have watched my last episode. So if you guys have watched my last episode, please leave a comment down below and I will personally go into my game on the next video and leave a building in your name. So let me know if you guys have seen that. I would really appreciate it. Please again, give this video a big thumbs up and a comment down below. And if you liked it so much, please subscribe. It really helps me out. I am trying here, so if you guys want to see me change anything or if you don't like something or if you do like something just let me know it really helps me out I am um, you know just starting out here so I am trying to figure out this little section I thought there would be some traffic in the future here so I did end up taking this road out and making it a single kind of like a T section portion so now I'm just going through and making sure all of the signs are going the right way the roads are going in the right way um, this particular intersection is great just because it forces all of the traffic to stay in its own lane and to stay on its own side so it doesn't cross the uh, other tra oncoming traffic so it adds just a little bit more of realism in the real life if they were to be going through each other you know there'd be car accidents and stuff obviously so in the game this doesn't it doesn't have that but it just kind of makes more sense to me that the flow of traffic is very seamless so this is a little weird um i think they are too close uh the intersections but in the future if that turns out to be a mistake we can always go back and change that so right now i am recording this and i'm we're in the middle of a pandemic, you guys. Can, can you believe that? I never thought it would go this far. I'm out of work currently at both of my jobs. I do work full-time and then part-time at another job. Um, and we're both... I'm laid off from both right now. It's actually a very crazy and intense time. Um, I uh, My wallet is feeling it. I'm sure everyone is feeling that right now. So there's there's just a lot going on. So that's why I like to come onto here and kind of disassociate from all of the crazy problems going on in the world right now and come here and play City Skylines where I can have full control and it is my vision. Let me know if you guys are like that too or if I'm the only one. It's just crazy because I never thought that it would come to this. I saw the coronavirus like happening in China but I just never thought that it would come to a full-blown like quarantine pandemic level of everyone freaking out and buying toilet paper like what about canned food and water and s medical supplies so now I think I'm gonna start working on this portion of the city so I started by putting some more exits and entrances directly on and off of the highway. This is only something I do for the downtown and it's only something I do near like industry just because when the city has industry they do create a lot of traffic and traffic is good but only if you can manage it so i like to put these little entrances and exits near the industrial area just because it makes everything flow just a little bit easier the goods are processed throughout the city faster so everyone is just a little bit more happy with less traffic so i'm just going now and filling in some of these areas between the city and highway. I don't want to have it too close to the highway. I definitely have had tendencies in the past to make things just like too close and too dense. So in this city, I do want to leave a lot of space for green space, open space, and some parks just to give it that feeling of being a very open city with a lot of fresh air. So now I'm just going through some of the spaces between the highway because I want to give the town just a little bit more 
of a dense feeling close to the highway, but still I want to leave enough room for some trees and maybe some like green belt parks spread throughout like to distance some of the residentials from the highway or like residential from this museum or park or fire helicopter area. So now I am going to start putting in some of the tram stops throughout the downtown. I'm considering on only putting tram stops in downtown settings just because I think the downtown would be a great place for the multi-surface level of trains. So I'm now just going about and putting all of the stations down. I'm not doing multiple rounds on one set of tracks. So as you can see now, I'm putting them in like section and like square sections. So when each of them are in their own section, I'm putting them at a counter clockwise. So if one's going to the right, the one below it will be going to the left. And then the one next to that will be going to the right. And then the one, you know, like it, it will alternate. I like to do the trams in this way to kind of spread out the tracks and to go where the metro system does not go. So you can see I'm putting it like right next to these metro lines just to give people the access to public transportation if they're trying to go to the park or if they're trying to go to the downtown. It's really up to them. And so you can see that's why I, I did hook it up to the train station because that will give full access to the newcomers coming through the regional trains into the downtown and they can even if they really wanted to they can go the downtown metro line and take the metro all over the city or they can take the train to specific parts of the city you know it's it really all depends on them. So I am now going to take a look at the metro lines. I want to kind of go over all of the lines and make sure everything is adequate enough. So each line that I'm laying down will, I think, start off with only one. Yeah, I'm only going to do one. I'm only going to start off with one train on each line just because I want to figure out in the future which line will be the busiest and then I can add more lines to the corresponding line. So I don't want to do too many trains on the line to start off with because I don't want to overdo it. I want to have just enough of the trains on their tracks to get the people moving but I don't want to have too much wait time and especially at the um, spoken hub system that we have going on with the four multi triple complex of the metro station that little four tier one right there i want to make sure that that one is being serviced 24 7 and i want to have that be never too full i like i'm basically i want to have all of the trains moving throughout the city fast enough to where that can never be a station that is too slow and too still. So now I am just finishing up doing some of these stations that are on the outer edge of the downtown kind of spoke in real system. So I think I'm going to check on the traffic now. I, I saw some of it getting a little backed up but I think that um, is more or less to do with the amount of residents I did just move in that are still moving in um, I think that is a big cause to it too but I can see here I think my problem is that we have really big roads getting teed off with the smaller roads so if people want to turn left or right they have to get all get into one lane left or right so my solution to this is adding more lanes and taking away parking 
on the two lanes um, on the left and right. So you can see that's what that, that is what I'm doing here. I am making it a three lane road so the two oncoming roads can have a designated right hand turn and a straight and left hand turn. So I think that will really have traffic be designated to two left hand turn lanes that they can figure out the traffic. The rest of them can go straight and then who's ever going right, I do have the automatic right hand turn on red lanes happening so all of that is being taken care of so traffic will continue to move i did mess around with some of the roads earlier i didn't know if i put that on camera uh some of the downtown roads are leading into the downtown and it's basically like any downtown it is a little traffic just because it is really big skyscrapers with hundreds of people living in them and working in them and then you just all be put onto the same street so there is it is inevitable that there will be traffic in the lower downtown portion but i am trying my hardest to have everyone connected in the downtown without having to own a car so that's the big problem um i want to have the metro play a big part i want to have trains and planes play a big part you now you can see that we are working on this lower portion of the industry on the outskirts of the downtown i am putting a little mixed use of industry and office space i think that is going to give a good workforce flow there i also did end up putting a subway station in just for a little bit more walkability throughout the kind of like farther edge towards the freeway just because I think people will probably end up driving if it's too far of a walk for them so if I put a subway line there then they won't need to drive and I am trying to put some like I said some more walkability throughout the city i'm connecting some of the outer lanes in with the highway lanes right there um, you can see i'm connecting it to the crosswalk on all of the intersections so you can just walk directly straight instead of like driving on the highway to get to the other exit you can just walk it now so i think that um a lot of people will use this and i think a lot of people in the game will find that walking and bicycling and taking the metro is actually faster than it would be in taking the car. So I am just putting in some more pathways so that people can walk throughout the whole city. I think it's really important to have people instead of driving taking public transportation and walking throughout the city to decrease all of the traffic so I'm just going in and connecting some parks some streets to the other streets I'm not trying to be too intrusive with the parkways I'm just trying to have it kind of naturally flow I'm not trying to do too much um, some of them, uh, some of the awkward spaces, I will just end up making parks, um, whether that be just like a natural park or if it's like a park that is intended to be serving a purpose, whether that be, you know, for like a kids or a plaza or, you know, something like that, or if I just randomly will put down trees. Um, so once everything is connected, I think it's really a good idea to kind of have some separation between the different types of roads so like I want the residential to have that different type of feel versus when you're like just coming off of the highway I want that to be maybe more of like a commercial or office space to kind of separate the two areas So everything is put into place now, so I am going to just kind of over everything and I'm going to start kind of wrapping everything up here. I am going to try and figure out where I can put a hospital. 
what I end up doing is I put it on the other side of this highway but I kind of make a little emergency slip lane something of the sorts to where the hospital is off of the main drag because the hospitals put off a lot of um, emergency vehicles and ambulances and a lot of people come and go to work from them so I end up putting this over here in the corner and I move the road a little bit so it can look a little bit more in line with the highway and also I think it's good to have the hospital separate because the amount of traffic it causes is just a little bit overwhelming on the main road especially where I wanted it so now I'm just going and adding in some of the pipes throughout um, all of the little new areas that I did work on throughout this build uh, most of it is okay but there's little bits that I know the buildings would complain so I am just gonna go over and check everything I can see that I need a little bit more commercial so I'm going to start laying down some of the districts like I said earlier that are a little bit more specifically designed for that specific like corner so this is more of the office area and as you can see below that I put more of the commercial and it's high, high density commercial so it's gonna bring in a lot of tourist and wealth into that kind of like lower portion so over here I am figuring out where I can hook up this portion of the train station to link up our first train station so this train is going to the downtown station and it is going to provide a lot of service for this outside suburb area this is just the beginning of this area i plan on doing an extensive remodel of the area surrounding it so it's going to be very interesting to see before and after um, what i did there was just turned around the building um, i think it's like a dollar store or something like that building and i just turned it around because I thought the parking would be better facing the corner of that street. I did upgrade this road all to be a main avenue road, so hopefully in the future it will provide a very constant flow of traffic and it's a good divide, and it's a good divide of the city. So I am now going to put in some of the university buildings. I saw that we were kind of lacking in the college area, so I'm just going to put a big portion of the college studies here in the downtown. So I put in the old school in my, how I thought about it is I put in the old school, I put in the library, and then I put in the new school. So the new school is on the right, it is like the MIT building of sorts, the one on the far left is kind of like a more um, historic old, maybe like the early university building. And then I went to the library, so I thought that the students can go to their work and library and school and do all of that and it will just create a perfect work environment for the students and people who live in the suburbs to catch the train and then to go down to the downtown so it will hopefully be a very successful line sometimes um, I have worked in city skylines in the past and you build something and you put all of your effort into it and nobody uses it it's very frustrating at times so I just like to kind of plan ahead and say okay if all of my lines were busy how would I like it to be all right but I am just going to end it here you guys and I hope you all have a great day thank you so much for watching please leave me a like comment and subscribe please thank you guys and it has been amazing and if you like anything in the series just let me know and again thank you guys so much for watching Bye!